Okay, creators, we see what time it is. It is homemade brownie time. I love this recipe because it's very quick. It's straight to the point. And guess what? You don't even need to mix it up. I didn't have to pull out my kitchen aid for this. Just a whisk or a spatula and you're good to go. Don't forget your ingredients though now, okay? Now we'll say majority of the time, I would just doctor up a box brownie, but I also believe that you gotta have a homemade, you know, recipe up there in your stash somewhere just to pull out to show them that you can do it. And this is the recipe that I've decided to use today. So let's get right to it. So first I'm gonna start off by adding in my sugars. I have one and a quarter cup of granulated sugar as well as one cup of light brown sugar that has been firmly packed. You can also sift this, but I'm just gonna use my whisk to make sure there aren't any big lumps or any hard pieces before I added my butter, cause that's gonna be a nightmare trying to, you know, get that to be dissolved. Okay, so I'm adding in a cup of butter that has been melted and cooled. I have three tablespoons of vegetable oil. And then I'm gonna add in one tablespoon of vanilla extract. And once that's all mixed in, I'm going to add in four, four large whole eggs that's been left out at room temperature. And I'm gonna add those in one by one. Okay, so we are done with this right here. Well, I guess we can consider that the wet ingredients. So we're gonna go ahead and mix in. Um, well, not mix in first, but we're going to combine our dry ingredients before we add them to our butter mixture. So here I have one cup of all-purpose flour, three-quarter teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, and one cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. And I'm just gonna wix that all together until it looks like it's, you know, combined. I just wanna make sure my salt and my baking powder is combined all throughout there. I'm not too, you know, strict on one of the cocoa powder itself. Okay, and once that's combined, we're gonna go ahead and add that into our butter mixture. And I'm just gonna fold that together because I don't wanna stir it up too much. We don't want tough brownies. Yeah. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and add in three quarters of a cup of chocolate chips. I have semi-sweet chocolate, and that's only because that's just what I keep at home, but you can use whatever you prefer. And at the same time, I'm gonna go ahead and add in um, a cup and a half of walnuts. Okay, and once that's incorporated, I'm gonna go ahead and put this batter into a parchment paper line. 9 by 13 pan that's also been greased with my magic cake pen release so they can pop on out when they're ready and i'm gonna spread that in And then I'm gonna to top these brownies with another quarter of a cup of chocolate chips, as well as another half a cup of nuts. You can use whatever nuts you prefer. I am kind of a stickler about sticking with things, and I believe that walnuts should be brownies. That's just me though. Okay, and they are out of the oven. I've also let them cool for about an hour outside of the oven. And then I'll put them in the fridge for about another 30 minutes just to give them a little firm so that I can cut them because I did not have a plastic knife in hand. 
and that's the best to me for cutting brown is it makes less of a mess okay and we're just gonna go ahead and get these cut i like doing half and half you know you go through half this way go through half that way it's just easier for my partner to do that Okay, and we are done with our homemade fudge brownies. Please try out this recipe if you need one. Okay, and I thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I shall see you in the next video.